Saturday morning, 23rd of April, about quarter past ten. I was just looking and checking the channel and that this morning and somebody commented, I think he was called Malcolm, why do you always go that way on the dune walk? Why not the other way? So I thought, yeah, why not? It's about a year or two since I've been this direction. So I thought I'd have a walk along at least as far as a viaduct anyway. And we'll see uh, how it goes. And uh, I'm going to go, I normally go that way when I go to Tesco and that, but I'm going this way instead, up the back and uh, over the field. This thing here says uh, Durham 15 and a half mile, Shotley Bridge 1 mile, Rollins Gill 7 mile. Which you don't know what to believe because there's there's that many different things, that many different signs. Sure, I mean along the road it shows Rollins Gill eight miles. So I don't know what's going on. When you come up here, up this way, it's like the back way to Tesco if you like. There's a couple of these. I don't know why I hear these bar things. There's one here. And there's meant to be one there, but somebody's knocked it down. I pulled it out or whatever, and it's now it's now lying on the ground. Vandals all over the place, I tell you. This is part of the cycle network. I don't think I would fancy pedaling up here, not because it's steep, just because it's rough as hell in places. There's a border collie at him now. Who it belongs to, like? Oh, there's an old guy up there walking his dog. The Coal Arrow State Dutchy Close was built in 2019. I've done about two or three jobs in there. Got another one coming up in a week or so time. Somebody I know who's just bought a property in there there's one of the new defenders Land Rover Defender nice them like had a few Land Rovers in my days but now like that <laughs> couldn't afford now like that that's a lottery win. Buying one of them. And just over here, they're going to build a commercial premises to let. So, doesn't even look like they've started yet, like, but uh, there's a sign at the end of the main road. What, uh, oh, they've started right down the back. Looks like it's just a brick wall they're putting up at the back. So yeah, units to let. It's a strange thing, like I've just built this brand new estate, 350 houses in Dutchy Close, and then I'm going to put some commercial premises in beside them. Oh, doesn't look, doesn't look a sound very good, does it? Factory units, uh, I don't know, like maybe some small shops or something, which would be handy for these houses. Or uh, anyway, not far off Tesco now. It's just like up the bank. I can go that way as well, and I can go along the back of them bungalows, but. I wanted to start from the beginning at the back of Morrison's there. 
just passing the main entrance to Tesco like on foot so uh, I don't think I'll be gone there that day McDonald's just over here Morrison's just over there and then at the back of Morrison's is where I'll be starting me little walk well I know I've walked from home like a mile already but uh, Anyway, that's when you get away from all the traffic and everything. This is the beginning of it and this is the coast to coast track. Oh, I can't see even. The sun's up right. So Allen Head's 23 mile and the end of the coast to coast is Whitehaven, 109 miles. And the other end is Sunhead. 25 mile so that's 125 34 miles so uh, this is a bit from Morrison's which is just there long way to walk to get to Whitehaven like <laughs> nine mile but uh, I expect to see a few people and a few bikes I don't know how many's doing the course of course at this moment in time this woman here that just passed us she's gone through the field so uh, I'm sticking to the path of course because I don't know where it comes out, like I've not been doing it. And from this angle, we've got Tesco just to over the field. So let's carry on. I'm shining, uh, shining, filming into the sun. But there's a couple of sculptures here, which is uh, well known in concert. Sorry about the wind, as I'm climbing the hill. Apparently, on the local Facebook page, these had been covered in graffiti. Uh, while back still got some graffiti on them now like but uh, the nice sculptures or whatever you would call them there's a an eagle's claw and horse's hoof I presume a gorilla hand foot or something and the other one's just here giant big telescope which is the same thing it's got down to this estate you can see them as well I came along here on my last electric bike and you can fair fly along here it's nice and smooth and flat slightly downhill going the direction I'm traveling and slightly up on the way back somebody coming on the two people coming on bikes now well they've done the course of course they're all they're just out for a exercise or what have you well, it's nice and warm in here and the, the wind's not too bad either.
just checked the camera that there's a woman went up there with a dog off the leader and it come towards us and it didn't bother us like but then it come behind us and grabbed my camera <sighs> Christ almighty anyway seems alright this is on the coast to coast I got a phone call it was my cousin Dennis just having a bit crack so I just sat there and talked to him for a while and now I'm back on my route Houndsgill this is and this is what you call the Heritage Trail Project Genesis it's got lots of pictures about uh, Concert Steelworks which was very famous of course and uh, like everything else it's covered in well it's got a bit graffiti on it's not covered but they've got to spoil everything haven't they if you remember at the beginning of this walk Whitehaven was 109 miles I've been walking for about 15 minutes and Whitehaven is still 109 miles hence I was telling you um, about the signs all over the place around here and then it'll make sense none at all so down there you've got Houndsgill tea rooms eat in take away open six days a week close on a Tuesday in the caravan park so uh, we're nearly coming up to the um, the viaduct as far as I remember isn't much further along here Hounds Guild tea rooms just over there and you can probably see the few caravans there and what looks very unusual I'm standing on a bridge as you can see the telegraph pole just there and as the telephone line comes all the way down here and it's attached to the bridge just here and goes under the bridge because I thought where's that going and it comes through a pipe oh no it doesn't it comes just under the bridge and then goes to that telegraph pole so obviously this is the phone line for Houndsgill tea room because it travels to there then travels around over there anyway let's carry on the walk come up with a little um, tunnel come archway thing up ahead and then uh, as I remember the viaduct's not much further than that Just approaching the viaduct now. It's been fenced off with like half fence on each side. Obviously, we can understand the reason why. Um, and I don't know if you know about the uh, concert uh, caves. Well, just at the beginning of the viaduct. If you turn left here and you go through here or around there and you follow that path down there go along there and then at your earliest convenience go right down to the bottom there's a pathway at the bottom I'll try and show you from the viaduct if you follow that along on the left not far 100 meters or something you'll see the caves I've been told that the uh, 
that they've been boarded off now. I don't know for sure, but I did fly my drone through the caves one time. You can uh, probably find that on the channel. They've got these signs right, right across this viaduct. Talk to us of things are like getting to you, Samaritans. So there's a few of them on this uh, viaduct bridge, as I remember. That's a pathway there, where I said before you'd be walking along there. Make your way down the pathway. Yeah, excuse the wind now because I'm very high up. The pathway is down there. Just follow that along, it brings you to the caves. But as I say, I don't know if that, uh, I don't know if they're being blocked off or not now. So uh, I'm not quite halfway. Are you, ah, you alright? I'm not quite halfway across yet. But um, there's a bit of a track down there, you can even get along with a vehicle, but let it be an off roader. Land Rover or something like that. It's not too bad today, like. It's a nice day, and the wind isn't too bad in the middle of the viaduct. I can actually see the caves through the trees with my eyes, we'll not see it with a camera. And we know what it's like. It might, have, it might be blocked off, but the kids will have made sure that it's unblocked I would imagine so if you ever wonder where the where the creek caves is that's how you get there and that's that explains it all about this viaduct there's a poster there to the right but I'm not going to concentrate on that So you come off you come off the viaduct at the other side and you end up in these woods which is nice as well. I'll just keep going for now. This farm here has got some uh, bales of straw or hay or whatever it is. But they've uh, can, I, can I see this? Drew some funny little faces on the bales end. Quite amusing, to say the least. Just been checking on uh, how far I've walked so far, and it's almost four mile so I think I'll walk five and then five back and that'll do for now nice ten mile walk while it's a nice day because winter's a long time <laughs> winter's a long time dark nights and all the rest of it Not many people on. More, well, yeah, more on bikes than walking. But yeah, good day for it. That turbine there, you can actually hear the sound it's making as it's turning in the wind. Unbelievable. Wish it had been closer, I would have went that one. Stood underneath, but it's actually about two fields away. This part's a bit breezy. Hiya. Uh, somebody else on the bike there. A few sheep to me right. Just lying down with the lambs.
just at the top of here is the year 68 as you'll probably see in a second plenty of cars going past year 68 quite a busy road and then you cross straight over back on the coast to coast and then a little way down the track is a like a picnic area so uh, I'll make that do for this walk before I head back right this is a 68 I'm seeing busy looks out there where's one car one car coming that way <coughs> you can actually drive into this picnic area you don't have to walk it's right turn here or left turn if you come this way obviously I was last here about 2019 I think and that's where I walked from uh, why I walked further after last time I had some sandwiches and a flask of tea and then I walked further up but uh, I'm just going as far as the picnic area because from here you head over to stand up Oop, somebody's got a cockerel there so just approaching the picnic area but there's some fun and games going on here have any time because it's not locked off there's some real fun and games going on parking space just there and another one just there and I'll just have five minutes on this seat I think have a drink of water before I head back it's signposted Waskilly Way Rowley Station that's the turn in I'm back at the 68 again at Rowley just about the uh, crossover few cars coming there's a land rover up little sports car of some kind Mitsubishi behind it can't even read that sign it's too dark concert town centre two and a half miles can't believe now these signs here isn't it? anyway that's what it says and we're back in a bit breeze the sun's went sun's went behind this massive cloud oh the clouds gone that way so there's a sun world it's come back out now it's on its way now I'm coming back towards a viaduct again back through the woods somebody on the bike there there's a little young kid coming towards us on his bike he's mum and dad's halfway across the viaduct or both or whatever um, just having a look over the top it's kind of old drop I tell you kind of old drop back at the little uh, well, you kind of call it an arch really because it's not but just a little underpass now that odd word for Howen's Go Tea Room oh, 
I'm going to turn off this time instead of going back up to Morrison's as a just up yonder where that uh, like bucket thing was there's a road what guns doing that way or a track in the road brings you out to the back of Tesco just so I'm not walking the same way all the way there and all the way back lovely though weather's gorgeous absolutely just what you want to remember I've just turned off and there's a sign there that says do and walk so I've come off the coast to coast onto the do and walk which is the one I normally go on which passes the edge of my house a few cars in this little car park so I think people might park there and get their bikes out in the way uh, I think if the weather's fine tomorrow I might do the same thing on the bike um, yet again I fancy going up to Hexham for a while so I've never tried the bike in the van yet of course I've got to empty half the van to get the bike in so we'll see Still on a don't walk. Just coming to the main road here. I'll be going straight across the course. Turn right for concert, one mile. Left for Castle Site and uh, A68, which I crossed over at Rowley. That's the Heritage Trail, Project Genesis. So, don't walk straight on. Busy road this side at the moment. Excuse the wind. I castle sides down that way. And away up the hill. And concert is that way, and away up the hill. Right, up. Jackson's taxis nearly run as I want. So, this track here takes you along the back of uh, Dutchy, Dutchy Close, or whatever it's called. Them bungalows I showed you near the beginning of the video. As I say, it's been a while, wait, 2019 or something since I was last up here. Concert Steel and Swords, Heritage 100. And don't walk, number 14. Well, this is, this is Dutchy Close. And this is still a don't walk. Just gets up the end of here, through the park, and then down that track where I said I wouldn't fancy riding up there. But actually it's not as bad as it used to be. It actually looks okay. I've got about half a mile left, something like that, three quarters. Because Tesco is just kind of, if, if that roof wasn't there you would see Tesco. And it's a mile to Tesco from mine, so uh, under a mile left anyway, that's the main thing. And a nice cup of tea. Well, I'm on the home straight now. I just live along the end of this path. So, uh, 
that's it I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did it's been a lovely walk I just had me neighbour rang us up new neighbour that is and says do you want a pizza for your dinner <laughs> I says aye I'm out like but uh, I says uh, put it in the oven I'll be back in less than 10 minutes so uh, I've only got about 5 minutes left so anyway, if you enjoyed this uh, video, give us a thumbs up. If it wasn't for your viewing or not your scene, give us a thumbs up. And uh, be nice if you could like, share and subscribe. Remember, subscribe costs nothing just means you enjoyed the video that's all and then there's probably the last two bikes I see right okay then see you in the next one bye for now take care